Come on. When the veil of darkness, the veil that's without form, the veil, the veil that's without, that's void, the veil that we talked about in Genesis 1 and verses 1 to 3, when that thing is removed, and, the, and then all of a sudden, the Spirit of God is allowed to brood over the, 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 the face of the waters, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And, and, and then when he brews over the face of the waters, he can produce that new creation in us. Guess what happens? The mind changes. The mind changes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You walk. You mind. Uh, you cannot be in the building belonging to a church, no. confessing Christ, and your walk is the same. Right. Please understand, there is no way. Because we carry something that should change. Now, I'm not saying you don't have struggles. Yeah. Uh -huh. But your intentions, your motivations mm -hmm. should change. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You shouldn't want to do what you used to do. Yeah. That's the third of the yeah. church. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we should not walk in other Gentiles, verse 18. But yeah, having their understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their heart. My heart, see, that's why you can't let aughts, offense, Come jealousy, yeah. dissension, mm -hmm. division, all the blindness of the heart. You can't afford that stuff. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. I, I know you're bad, and you, you're just bad. You're bad in the Holy Ghost. Bad, you bad to the bone. I know, I know you've been around in the earth for a long time. Oh, thank God. You got, you know what I'm saying? Got a little fossilized going on. We understand that. Yeah. You you accrued a whole bunch of time on your behalf, and I'm sure heaven is rejoicing. But I got news for you. You cannot you cannot let the blindness of the heart take control of you because if it does, ignorance will abide, and if ignorance abide, yeah. you connected to that blindness, guess what happens? You alienate yourself from the life of God. Come on. So the life flow. That God has for you. That's why people tell me. I talk to people say, you know, uh, how you doing? It praise the Lord. And I ask them what church they go to. They say, well, I'm just looking for a church. Right. Come on. <laughs> you ain't been there from the life of God. <laughs> you, you got ignorance and blindness of your heart. You cannot tell me you can be disconnected from a local assembly. Yeah. And you're strong with the Lord and the power of His might. That's a delusion. That's a deception. You, there is yeah. no way humanly possible because God never created us to operate independently of a local yeah. assembly. Yeah. Yeah. by yourself. Yeah, right. Right. Jesus gave us and ran and said, where two or more are gathered together. Yeah. And, he, and you know, he, he, he knew we were going to have some folks that can kind of stretch the scriptures right. and say, I'm married. <laughs> That's why he put more on it. Yeah. <laughs> huh? Or your favorite phone buddy. Yeah. You know, sister, you know, we can be on, the, we ain't got to go to the church, we can just be on the phone. You and me, we can touch the degree, God to move. Wow. <laughs> But God can't tell you to find a place to dwell, to reside, to belong to, to get in a company and a tribe that carries your DNA. You don't, he hasn't spoken. I'm speaking to somebody. Yes. He hasn't spoken to you yet. And every place you went, you left a trail. You didn't leave out. You slammed the door. Come on, right? That's, that's the problem. When you think you can just leave, and then every time you leave, you leave with dust kicking. Wow. <laughs> All right. 